Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is up? It's your host with the most entertaining people like you from coast to coast, Wave Man Mike, and we're back for another video. Listen, I'm not gonna waste any time. I just need you to like the video, and we're gonna hop right into it. The video I'm reacting to is how to make your conditioner lather by 360 Juice. As we all know, it's pretty easy to get your shampoo to lather, but getting your conditioner to lather is a totally different story. It isn't quite as easy. So I wanna see how he does it. Let's not waste any time. Let's get this reaction started in three, two, one, go. Watch the full video, please. Four seconds into this video and this man told no lies. I'm gonna need you to watch the full video, please. Not just the intro, not just the reaction part, all the way to the very end of the video. Even when the reaction's over, when I'm doing the outro, watch that too. You clicking on the video, it's just one part of this. I need you to watch it, watch it all the way through, like it, and comment. All of those are important. Even dislikes are important. They actually help. But I much rather likes. So go press the like button and like this little robot thing just said watch the full video what's up everybody 360 juice hit back with another video for you guys and today as you can see by the title i'm gonna teach you guys how to get your conditioner to lather all right if you use this conditioner okay or any oh, yeah. other type of conditioner wrong I'm button gonna teach you how to make a lather i begin a lot of questions that do-rag is nice how do you make conditioner lather bro you're always saying make sure you get great lather but when it's time to add the conditioner, I can't really get great lather with the conditioner. So what you told my juice? Watch the video and learn, please. All right. Bro the says, video, stop the one questions one, and watch the video. The part, so I won't make it like an hour long video. If I'm in, I'll charge my camera. I deleted old videos that I didn't really need anymore so I can make space for this video because this video is gonna be important. Big facts, these videos take up a lot of storage on our cameras, on our phones, on our laptops, which is another reason why you should go smack that like button. I can't even take personal pictures and personal videos because I got my storage full of wave videos. So take notes, watch, pay attention, and just, you know, try to learn something, right? It took me a long right. time to learn how to make a conditioner ladder at first, I didn't know how to make my conditioner lather. And, all, and every time I put my conditioner in my hair, the fact that it wasn't lathering, it would cause me to overcurl when I'm wolfing. Now you say, hey, conditioner for that. I never used to add conditioner in my hair. I used to I just do it first. Because of the fact that well, it not. up my ways, I would lose progress. So I it's a long story. cut out the conditioner out of my routine. But over time, with, better, with more experience, I learned how to make the conditioner lather. And as you all know, in order for your ways to lay down in the washing style process, you have to get great lather to, you know, make it lay down and manipulate your waves to be in a position that you want it to be in, okay? That's why washing styles is important. The lather helps you progress a lot faster. Yeah, I'm trying too much. Let's just get right into this video, man. Okay. All my beginners, all my elite waivers, you know, just just watch, all right? So you're definitely going to need a mirror. You can't do a washing and stuff. You can't do a breast session without a mirror, okay? You're going to need your shampoo. Whatever shampoo you're using, I'm using this one right here, this right here, and my conditioner is going to be this one right here. I already showed it to y'all. Okay. Y'all see it? You're going to need a lot of conditioner, okay? You, you want the conditioner lather. So you're gonna need a lot, so just a heads up. Um, you're gonna need a medium brush. This is an old medium brush that I don't really use no more. I just added to my washing style. It has great pull and it's not hard enough to the point where it hurts my scalp. So I just use this medium brush right here. That's what I do too. I just use older brushes for my washing styles. I'm not gonna buy all new brushes. And even if I did buy new brushes, I would still use my old brushes for the washing styles because why would I wanna use my new brushes and get water damage on a washing style when I could just use my old brushes and if they get messed up, then they just get messed up. They're the older brushes anyway. They're already falling apart. When I say falling apart, I don't literally mean falling apart, just in case some people were thinking that. And this one is the very most important brush right here. This is a detangling shower brush. All right, we're gonna use this. And of course, we're gonna use a comb to detangle out here before we get into the session. But yeah, we starting now. 
The detangler brush is really important. Like it works way better than a brush and a comb would when your hair is wet and has that shampoo in it. It really helps with getting your hair detangled oh, guys, and all together. Um, you're gonna need your Watson style do rag from 216 Wavy. Um, you need you need this because the holes are a lot bigger, so it's much easier for you to wash out the the stuff that's in your hair. Um, you can't you you can use this, but it's gonna be really hard to wash out the the products in your hair. Okay, because the holes are not as big. So yeah. You can also get this from 216wavymerch.com. Use discount code JUICE15. You get 15% off. All right, so we're going to keep this right here. are the best for getting lather during your wash. <laughs>
into my pores. Since I have a little porosity here, I'm gonna, I need my pores open in order to really moisturize my hair, all right? So all my little porosity hair people out there. Um, Somebody's calling me, hold up. My bad, somebody called me. But that's um, actually a good thing because I have something I, talk, I need to talk about. Okay, so the thing about cold water closing your pores and hot water opening your pores, at least what I know and what I've been told, like, in college by teachers and from actual skincare experts they told me that that's actually a myth and water does not open and close your pores at least for your skin and of course underneath your hair it's skin you know your scalp is made out of skin but maybe that skin works differently than the skin on your face but i'm just saying from what i've been told from actual you know people who are into this type of stuff who do this for their jobs and stuff they told me that it's actually a myth and then i did some research on my own to see if that was true and it turns out it actually is a myth so my whole life is a lie but it's okay because that's one of the myths that everyone believes so at, at some point you don't really need to you know like you don't need to go out and hear somebody say that and then you know like um try to correct them because they're gonna argue back at you about that one because it's so commonly used and to the point where most people actually do, well, I'm not even gonna say most, yeah, most people, like 99% of people still say that. And even like two months ago, I was saying that. But yeah, I don't know if it works differently for your hair. But anyway, I'm gonna try to resume this in three, two, one. If you don't know what porosity hair you are, take a little strain of hair, drop it in the water. If it flows, your low porosity, if it sinks, your high porosity. So from there- This, go this is true. What he's saying right here is true. So, yeah. So I'm gonna apply this to my hair. This is just a little bit. I'm gonna apply some more. Right, so I still out. haven't made a video on hair porosity and I don't think I will because right, I haven't finish. done enough research on it. So, and I don't really see myself doing the research on it. Honestly, I really don't. A lot of people think this is enough By the way, if you hear a sound in the background, somebody's in the shower, and my room is next to I the, this, right? the bathroom. And I have conditioner all over my hair. It's all over. Okay. Good. Now, this is the important part. This part, in order to activate the conditioner and make it lather, you need water, and you need a lot of it. All right, so this water. Is Watch, watch, watch. So I have my sink right here. And all I'm gonna do is just keep adding water. Look, all I'm doing is adding water. Y'all see it? Water, water, water. Boom. You can add more conditioner if you want to, man. I'm doing it, I'm about to have more conditioner. I can see a little bit of lather already coming up. Oh yeah, I can tell it's gonna be lathered up just by the way the back of the neck look. And look at that on the forehead. It's gonna get the lather. As soon as you put that detangling brush in there, the lather's gonna come. I might gotta try this out. Alright. Now that I got the conditioner to kind of lather. I usually don't I put this much conditioner I'm gonna honestly. Take a, uh, detangling shower brush and I'm just gonna go in. Yeah, I might need to try this out. 
usually I just put a little bit of conditioner. Well, not a little bit, but you know, not as much as the shampoo. But I might need to try this out. I wonder if the shampoo, I mean the conditioner I use will do it though. It's the conditioner I'm using, guys. This works with any conditioner. So any type of conditioner oh. that you have, it you works. Answer my question. Y'all see it, right? It's lather. Okay. If you want to add more conditioner, you can. Pretty good. But I just wonder, is it gonna lay down correctly? You know, the shampoo really lays the hair down. So I just wanna know if he uses a saw brush or his hand, is it gonna lay all the way down? If it does, then this method, it goes crazy. Yeah, look at that. I don't see nobody else getting that amount of see it, right? lather yeah. with the shampoo. Yeah, I mean, good. with the condition. I keep saying shampoo. I meant to say conditioner. All right, now I'm done brushing my hair. Watch this part right here. Guys, the longer you brush, the um, the more lather you get, okay? So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to lay my hair down. I'm gonna try to lay my hair down by adding a little bit more conditioner and a little bit more water, and I'm gonna finish up with this do-rag right here, okay? That's All what right. I'm gonna do, watch. Keep around my neck. Add some more conditioner. Add a little bit more water. Y'all see it? Yeah, we see it. And the hair lays right down. I like this method. Well, me is it a method? I yeah, think the it, it kind of is a lot better than the, uh, than the shampoo. You just have to know how to do it. The conditioner, the lather definitely stays longer. Because after, like, after like to five to ten minutes with the shampoo, with, the lather is gone. Hands. But with this, I mean, look at that. The lather is still there. He might have came across something really great here. Hold up, I'm brightness just at the weird. All right, now we just rag up. Turn that water off so you won't waste no water. You know, that water bill won't be hot. I need a do-rag like this with the holes in it. Look at the lather coming out the top of the do-rag. 
Look, look at that. That go crazy. Hey man, go try this man's method. Stop giving me all these excuses, man. Come on. All right, guys. Now that you finished with that, I've just cleaned up everything. Um, you want to leave this conditioner in your hair for about 30 to 35 minutes. If you want to, you know, if you want to go 40 minutes, you definitely can. All right. And after that, after the time is up, you go in the shower, you rinse it out thoroughly. This is a, uh, this is not a leave-in conditioner, so you can't. Just I forgot what you said. Just, just that just, quick. You know, go go on about your day. You have to rinse it out eventually. And I'm gonna wait 35 to 40 minutes. Oh, right? 35 and to 40. You wait for however long you want to wait. But uh, I'm not going to show you guys the results because after I've rinsed the conditioner out of my hair with warm water, because you still want your uh, your pores to be open. Um, the, here's your options. Or here are your options. After you rinse the shampoo, out, the conditioner out of your hair with warm water, you could you could go with a um, with a blow dryer and dry it and then add leave-in conditioner. I got some leave-in conditioner about two six can wiggy link in my description. Moisturize. One thing I did forget to say, the whole hot water, cold water thing, although it doesn't really close and open your pores it still helps hot water is damaging not only to your hair but to your skin too so make sure you use cold water and if you can't use cold water i understand but use cool water or just warm but never hot all right so after you rinse the condition out of your hair blow dry it and then immediately add in your leave-in conditioner or what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna let my hair dry for three hours straight through three to four hours but the only bad thing about that is if you wait that long i believe your pores will probably close up by that time depending on what you're doing so if you do rinse out your, um, the conditioner out of your hair with warm water and you wait three to four hours for your hair to dry your pores will probably be already closed up so in order to open you reopen your pores you have to do the hot towel method and it's just a lot of work so you could definitely go with the easier option to just blow dry your hair and put the conditioner in or do what I'm gonna do, wait three, four hours, hot towel method, and add in your products. But guys, that is it for this video, man. So everybody that's been saying, yo, what are you talking about, Sean? You can't you can't make conditioner leather. I just proved you wrong. Now go do that, Sean, man. All right, so 360 Juice just taught us all how to get lather from the conditioner. That right there is gonna help a lot of people because some people, including myself, sometimes I just skip the conditioner completely because I just like the way my waves look with the shampoo all lathered up and my waves all laid down. And I'm like, nah, the, the shampoo looks good. I, I don't need the conditioner because, you know, Although it is gonna help with hair health, the way it looks is definitely not as good as what the shampoo can do. But now that we have this method, which is pretty much what we were already doing, but just adding more conditioners than what we would usually do, now we can try to add this conditioner to our washing styles. See, what I would do when I don't skip the conditioner, when I actually do it, is I usually do the shampoo, then I do the conditioner, then I do a little bit more shampoo on the end. So I like add just a little bit and I brush it in and I hurry up and rinse it out. So that way I can still get my hair laid down, but I don't strip out all of the moisture from my hair. I don't strip out, you know, I don't reverse the work that the conditioner did too much. I just, you know, hurry up and rinse out that shampoo. But this method basically just ends all of that i don't have to go back and do another layer of shampoo after i did the conditioner after the conditioner that's it so tell me in the comment section below before seeing this video were you ever able to get your conditioner to lather up and if you haven't tell me if you are going to try this out i definitely know that i will be trying this out so if you want me to try it out on a video don't worry, it's gonna be coming. And you already know, when it's a video about lather and washing your hair, we're gonna go ahead in the comment section and comment, lathered up, yes sir. But anyway, that's the end of this reaction. If you did enjoy it, make sure to go smack that like button right across the face. Go in the comment section, leave a comment. I know, you just commented already. You just commented lathered up. But go leave another comment anyway. You know, a, a regular personalized comment. If you have any questions or anything like that, 
you can go leave them in the comments section and if i'm able to answer them then i'll answer them and if you got questions for 360 juice maybe you've you know you've dm'd him and he hasn't seen it yet then you can leave them in the comment section maybe i can just send those comments to him in like a screenshot and get the answers that you need but anyway that's the end of this video if they ask you who i am i'm wave man mike so subscribe drop a comment and don't forget to like <laughs> enjoy your day